All right, folks, here's some alarming news to consider. Brace yourselves because the U.S. government has officially lost its AAA credit rating. And let me tell you, this is happening at the worst possible time. Interest rates are skyrocketing like never before. Just paying the interest on their massive debt is becoming one of the biggest challenges for the government. And with the debt clock rapidly approaching $33 trillion, it seems like they're just piling on more debt every month. So let's talk about the U.S. economy and its serious trouble. The dollar has been plunging, and they keep scrambling to increase the debt ceiling. But sooner or later, people are going to realize it's simply impossible for the U.S. government to pay off his debt. Those who lent their money to the government will be banging on the doors demanding to get something back. Now, you might be wondering, how on earth did this happen? And what does it mean for the markets and the economy? Well, folks, that's what I'm diving into right now. So let's not waste any time. So check this out. Fitch just downgraded the U.S. long-term ratings from AAA to AA. And look at that debt pile up. Thousands of dollars every single second. Fitch points to the expected fiscal deterioration and growing debt burden as the reasons behind the downgrade. Frankly, it's like the chickens coming home to roost. The U.S. government has been on a debt binge, printing money left and right, and they haven't fixed the root issues during the past crises. Now let's talk about the decline in governance. It's not just a steady deterioration. It's been a massive decline. Corruption is running rampant and it's all out there for everyone to see, but nothing seems to happen when it comes to holding the right people accountable. It's infuriating, to say the least. And you know what the U.S. government has been doing when it comes to raising the debt ceiling. It's a whole political theater with last minute resolutions. They argue back and forth, but in the end, they always increase the limit. But guess what? The lenders are not finding it funny at all. And they're losing confidence in the U.S. government's fiscal management. The deficit is growing like crazy, nearly doubling in just one year. With interest rates rising, things are going to get a lot worse. And guess what? We're facing a credit crunch. Banks are tightening lending standards for all categories of loans, from credit cards to home loans. Commercial real estate is also in trouble, and we're seeing weakening demand. Now, here's a shocker. Crude oil prices are surging again. And if the dollar keeps falling and oil keeps rising, brace yourselves for more interest rate hikes. It's bad news for the government and the banks. So what does all this mean for you and me? Simply put, people are losing faith in the U.S. government, even institutions. Corruption and irresponsible spending are taking a toll. Interest payments on the debt are becoming a massive drag on growth. It's high time we take precautions. And in my opinion, nothing's changed. I've been saying the same thing from day one. Continue to get your weight up as an anchor, as an insurance policy on your currency and all the derivatives that we've been sold over the years. Hedge yourself against the falling U.S. dollar with, with gold and silver. When the U.S. dollar eventually fails, and mark my words, it will, gold and silver will soar like never before. So this downgrade comes at the, the worst possible time. We got the BRICS meeting in a couple of weeks. We got the announcement of the U.S. government looking to borrow over a trillion dollars plus, and there's no dialing back, period, because the Ponzi can't go on unless they continue to borrow and the Fed continue to monetize. And this upcoming fall, who do you think is going to be racing to buy debt IOUs from a government that also happens to sanction all the countries that don't play games with the U.S.? But I believe me, the BRIC nations are not racing to fund Uncle Sam no more, and it's good to say the Global South will follow suit. So even though the downgrade is minor as of right now, it says a lot about what's probably to come. Anyway, just sharing some thoughts. What do you think? Leave a comment. Check you later.